Hi everyone. Today we wanted to have a brief discussion about how to pay your employees or how to pay wages in Xero. So essentially you have two options. Option one is giving iCount Beans third party access to your bank account. And option two is to pay your employees manually yourself. So we'll go through both of them now. So if you decide to do option one, which is giving iCount Beans third party access to your bank account, the first thing you would need to do is send your accountant the timesheets for your employees at the end of your pay period. Whether that be, you know, you pay them weekly, fortnightly, monthly, you just need to send them through those timesheets. And there's a few different ways you can do this. You could do it directly through Xero. Um, if it's pretty simple and straightforward, you could even email your accountant um, with dot points of your staff's name and the hours they've worked. If it's more complex, you'd probably want to send it through as a PDF or a CSV file. Um, or you could even use a separate app such as Deputy, which logs when staff clock in and out. So you can have a discussion with your accountant, figure out what works best for you. And yet at the end of every pay period, you'd send them the timesheets. Now, once your accountant has that time, those timesheets, they really do everything else for you. <laughs> so they'd go in and they'd process the payroll and they'd get your bank transactions ready. They'd also send all your staff their pay slips. So all you'd have to do once they're done is log into the bank account and approve the bank transactions. That's it. It's done. Now with option two, if you decide you don't want to give iCount Beans third party access to your bank account, that's totally fine. There's just another step there for you. So the first step is exactly the same, sending the timesheets, all those options are still available to you. And iCount Beans will still be the ones that actually come into zero and actually post the pay runs, um, get it ready, file it with the ATO. They'll also send your employees their pay slips but you'll then receive from your accountant a bank report, which I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just going to run a pay period here. View reports, bank payments report. You'll receive an email from your accountant once they've done all of that. And it has your employees' names, their account details, and the amount that they're owed after tax. So this is the actual amount they'll get paid. Um, and that's the, the net amount that's coming out of your bank account. So the only other step for you is you'd actually have to go into your online banking. You'd have to actually put the pay through for every employee. But that's it. So it's totally a preference whether you want iCount Beans to do the banking for you or not. But that is how we process paying your employees or how to process paying wages in zero. Thanks for watching.